Welcome all. For this first unit, we are going to do a real quick review on the elements of art, line, and value. Now, this information can be found on the um, intro page or intro tab found in your Art One notebook on Teams. Now, if you recall, line is the path of a moving point. Lines can vary in direction, thickness, length. Um, they can also have expressive qualities. Artists can oftentimes use lines to represent different emotions in their artwork. Um, all in all, though, uh, you're going to find a couple examples of line and their supporting names here on the introduction page. We're going to be using lines really to more of a contour outline, actually, to create your uh, word art designs. Um, the next element of art is value. Now, remember, value is a, well, I'm sorry, value describes the uh, lightness or darkness of a color, color or shade, I guess. In the fall, we practice creating a series of value scales. Um, remember, these value scales show a range of uh, shadows uh, or values progressing typically from our darkest shades to our brightest highlights. Now, um, while we practice creating these value scales using pencil, uh, just know shading techniques like hatching, cross-hatching, uh, loose line or scribble, and or stippling, are techniques that you can create using a pen or marker. Um, on this introduction page, you'll see obviously five supporting value scales if you need a quick visual reference. Now, um, for this unit, we're going to be getting kind of back into the swing of things, designing um, how to or just kind of remind and refresh our bodies and our minds on how to work and fill the appropriately fill a space, um, specifically our final draft papers. Now, um, we don't want to be wasteful with our materials that we have at home. It's not really unlimited. We don't have the classroom to go or the cabinets to go to and just go and grab more supplies. So we got to make best use of the materials we have here at hand. Um, so for this project, and again, this is just a brief project. For this project, I would like you to uh, create or select one word to describe your time here outside of Westlake. So for me, I chose the word creative. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I spend a lot of my time during this time, one, designing different lessons for us to, as we transition into this online um, platform, and two, I needed some way to de-stress. So I had to be creative, and I worked with paints. I've been working with sculpting techniques, um, a lot of different things that are just creative in nature, and so that was my word that I selected for this project. Um, now, your words can be simpler. They can be things like tired, sleepy, overwhelmed, stressed out, not feeling well. Or maybe they're positive words like um, family-oriented, um, happy, thoughtful, caring, etc. Any word that's school appropriate can be used for this project. Now, this worksheet that I keep referencing, this is your thumbnail worksheet. This can be found on your, or in the Unit 1 tab of your Art 1 notebook located on Teams. For this uh, worksheet, you can either complete your thumbnail sketches in your sketchbooks, which you should have taken home. If you did not, computer paper works is just as well. Um, or you can print out this worksheet right here that I've provided for you and create and complete your three sketches here on the worksheet. Um, now, the goal for this is to create, again, three different designs um, focusing on your one selected word. Now, the idea is to work with three different font styles. So each one I have selected three different variations for writing out the word creative, and even the imagery surrounding it has changed depending on the style of word that I chose. Um, if you're unsure of how to go about designing different font styles or just different writing styles, you're just not super happy with your standard bubble letter, I have also included a font packet with different ideas for lettering styles in this Unit 1 tab. Um, of course, you're welcome if you to use your own personal style. If you've got a standard style that you always just have doodling away, font following along the lines of your notes and whatnot, you're welcome to use that. Just make sure that your lettering is large. You want this stuff to fill the page. We're not looking for tiny, itty bitty designs. Um, and again, that includes your drawings. So make sure you are filling the space of your thumbnail sketches. We don't want a lot of empty space like what I have right here. I need to go back in and rework that th thumbnail sketch one. Okay. 
Um, when you are done designing your three thumbnail sketches, you're going to need to take a picture of your work and either upload it to the Unit 1 tab in your Art 1 notebook, which I highly recommend. It keeps a permanent saving or document. It's like a permanent portfolio for your artwork. And um, or if you just want a quick, quick review without the grade going in right now, you can send me an email, a picture of your um, picture of your thumbnail sketches via email or Synergy. Either one works. But overall, the final piece for it does need to be uploaded to your Unit 1 tab located in the Art 1 uh, notebook. These sketches are going to be due by the end of the day, Sunday. If you have any questions, please reach out to me either by email, Synergy Messenger, or through the classroom chat. Be mindful, classroom chat, everyone can see it. So if it's not appropriate, don't post it. All right. Hmm, that sounded a little weird at the end, but it's okay. All right, guys. Uh, again, no, I'm here if you need me. See you later. Bye.